Pope Francis, the goods you accumulate in this world will not fit in the coffin. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. At the general audience this Wednesday, January 24th, Pope Francis shared his catechesis focused on greed, addressing with his words the importance of understanding this vice and its implications in human life. The pontiff began the session by greeting those present with a dear brothers and sisters, good morning, marking the beginning of his reflection on vices and virtues, with greed as the central theme. Francis emphasized that greed is not a sin exclusive to those with great wealth, but a vice that cuts across different economic realities. In his words, he pointed out that greed is not only linked to the balance of a current account, but is a disease of the heart, not of the wallet. Referring to the teachings of the Desert Fathers, the Pope highlighted how greed can take hold even of those who have given up significant inheritances. Quoting verbatim, he expressed, they had become attached to objects of little value, they did not lend them, they did not share them and even less were they willing to give them away. Pope Francis described greed as a form of attachment to small things, comparing it to the behavior of children who affirm it's mine. It's mine, stressing that this attachment limits people's freedom. With his words, he highlighted the unhealthy relationship with reality that can lead to forms of compulsive hoarding. In his reflections, the Pope emphasized the drastic method proposed by the monks to overcome greed, the meditation of death. Quoting verbatim, he said, No matter how much a person accumulates goods in this world, of one thing we are absolutely certain, that they will not fit in the coffin. Continuing his message, Pope Francis underscored the parable of the foolish man, quoting the words of the Gospel, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, for whom shall they be? The pontiff also addressed the presence of thieves in the Gospels, quoting verbatim from the Sermon on the Mount, Lay not up treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume them, and thieves break through the walls and steal them. Quoting words of the Desert Fathers, the Pope shared the story of a thief who robs a monk and, instead of claiming the goods, the monk hands over what he has left, expressing, you forgot to take this. Pope Francis concluded his catechesis recalling a personal case, quoting verbatim, I remember a case of a gentleman I knew in the other diocese. Alluding to a rich man who saved even on feeding his sick mother, taking greed to unsuspected extremes. I remember, the Pope said, a case of a man I knew in the other diocese. A very wealthy man who had a sick mother. The brothers took turns taking care of his mother. And the mother would take a yogurt in the morning. He would give her half the yogurt in the morning and the other half in the afternoon, to save half a yogurt. Such is greed, such is the attachment to goods. Later this gentleman died and the comments of the people who went to the vigil were this, you can see that this man has nothing now, he has left everything. And then, making a bit of a joke, they said, no, 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 they cannot close the coffin because he wanted to take everything with him. This makes the others laugh, greed. In the end we must give our body, our soul to the Lord, and we must leave everything. Let us be attentive and generous. Generous with everyone and generous with those who need us most. Thank you, concluded the pontiff. In his catechesis, the Pope warned us about the danger of greed. Greed is like a voracious fire that consumes our essence and connection with others. It leads us to forget the true measure of abundance, plunging us into an unbridled pursuit of wealth and power. In this pursuit, we stumble upon the paradox that the more we try to hold on to, the emptier our hearts become. Greed blinds us to empathy and compassion, making us slaves to our own ambitions. However, by giving up greed, we find the freedom to be masters of our destiny and discover the true richness in generosity and human connection. The key is to find a balance between material security and the cultivation of meaningful relationships. In addition to warning us about greed, Pope Francis reaffirmed his unwavering stance on war at the conclusion of his catechesis at the general audience held this past Wednesday, January 24, 
emphatically stating that it is always a defeat and a denial of our own humanity. The Holy Father's words resonated powerfully at the conclusion of his catechesis, leaving a profound reflection on the urgent need to promote peace throughout the world. During his greeting to the pilgrims, the Pope recalled the upcoming commemoration of the Day of Remembrance of the Victims of the Holocaust, describing it as the horrible extermination of Jewish people. Quoting verbatim, the Pope emphasized that the memory and condemnation of that horrible extermination of millions of Jews and of other religions should serve as a reminder that the logic of hatred and violence can never be justified. In a turn to the world situation, the pontiff deepened his position on war, quoting, War is a denial of humanity. He urged the faithful not to cease in their prayers for peace, so that conflicts may cease, weapons may be stopped and exhausted populations may be helped. Concerned about regions affected by conflict, the Pope specifically mentioned the Middle East, Palestine, Israel and the tormented Ukraine. Using his own words, he expressed his sorrow, I think of the disturbing news coming from tormented Ukraine, especially the bombings that hit places frequented by civilians, sowing death, destruction, and suffering. In concluding, Pope Francis raised his prayers for the victims and their loved ones, making an impassioned appeal to those with political responsibilities to cherish human life by putting an end to wars. Quoting verbatim, he stressed, let us not forget that war is always a defeat, always. Only the arms manufacturers win. These powerful words served as a powerful closing, reinforcing his message of peace and condemnation of violence on the world stage. History teaches us that lasting peace is only possible when nations and communities work together to overcome the barriers that separate them. In this context, it is essential to reflect on how to address differences constructively, fostering universal values of respect, empathy, and collaboration. In a call for nonviolence, the Pope has highlighted the importance of seeking avenues for dialogue and negotiation. This call emphasizes the need to build a future where diversity is celebrated, justice prevails and peace is the shared goal of humanity. Nonviolence is presented as an essential path to conflict resolution and the construction of a more harmonious and united world. Let us pray that one day we may see a more harmonious and united world. Praise be to Jesus Christ.